Hey, this is Jim from Jägermeister. It's Saturday evening here at Download 2013. I'm here with William from Alice in Chains. How's it going, sir? Okay, yeah. So far, so good. We, uh, we played a little while ago, and uh, since then we've just been doing a lot of talking to different uh, folks. It's been kind of a, a press junket. So, you know, man, we're just uh, knocking them out so we can get to London and get some rest. Because I heard somebody said that you do, when you do press, you get paid to do the press and you play the shows for free. <laughs> I guess that's a, that's one way of looking at it. Oh, we're getting, we're getting blown by the tents, like creaking and stuff. Yeah, I guess, uh, I guess that is one way of looking at it. Um, you know, I think, uh, I think there's a lot of stuff that people probably wouldn't, wouldn't, uh, wouldn't, wouldn't understand, wouldn't be able to comprehend unless they were, they were in it, you know? I mean, and that's okay, you know, it's not, it's not their, it's not their worry to deal with that, it's our worry to deal with that, you know? So we just get on with it. With uh, the new album, I'm curious, the title, was that just to wind up perhaps uh, fundamentalist Christians? Well, you know, I think it, it, it was to sort of hold a mirror up to ourselves in a way. I mean, because it's, it, it's you know, it's the, the, the title is literally a riff on the idea that some people in our country take seriously that the devil put dinosaur bones in the ground to fool us because, you know, the earth is really only 6,000 years old and all this business about carbon dating and, you know, science, that's all a, that's all a hoax. Um, but beyond that, uh, I think it speaks to, it's like that's the tip of the iceberg and we're really speaking to a much larger issue of uh, a, a certain brand of narrow-mindedness that has always been there and has always been represented by a relatively small minority but right now it seems that that relatively small minority is able to command a great deal of attention and is able to somehow summon a great deal of resources to perpetrate a pretty strong pushback right now that is perhaps more aggressive in the last four or five years, at least in our country, in America, than, than, than we've ever seen it, or at least that I, than I ever remember it, you know? And um, so that's really what we're kind of speaking to. It's, it's, it's just this thing of like, how, how is this able to happen where this minority is able to control the, the terms of the debate to such an extent. I mean, where you have senators in our country coming on television with a straight face and talking about, you know, legitimate rape and stuff. I mean, I, I don't know if that item made it over here, you know, but, you know, that, I mean, that's just, or, you know, some legislator in Louisiana will come on television and, again, just totally serious we shouldn't teach science to our children in schools in Louisiana, you know, we have to teach creationism. And this is 2013, and uh, so I think uh, you take that, you take all the questions going on in our country about who, will, who should have equal protection under the law, who should be able to get married to whom, and all that kind of stuff. It adds up to a, a climate that would be comical if it weren't so scary because of again the degree to which they're able to control not only the legislative part of that whole these issues but also just the terms of the debate you know I mean sh certain bills are not even getting talked about in our legislature because these people block the talks you know so I think when it when it gets that extreme and that weird. I mean, you can believe whatever you want to believe. This is not an attack on religion. It's just, a, it's again, it's really just sort of holding a mirror up to that level of narrow-mindedness and uh, the power that it seems to be wielding right now, you know? And I mean, I think you can make an argument that some of that is pushed back because of, you know, Barack Obama's 
election and then re-election, you know, just his very existence. I think that has threatened some people to, to uh, you know, they're, 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 they've lost their rationality, they've lost, you know. Um, but, you know, again, I think some of it is just the fact that that stuff's always been there. So, we're, you know, we, we talked amongst ourselves and uh, just decided that it was time, if not now, when? We're all adults, we wanna, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and comment on this stuff by not only putting that song, The Devil Put Dinosaurs Here, on the album, but also making it the title track of the album, specifically because we knew we would get asked a lot about it, and it, we might be able to spark some sort of discussion, you know. It's not about, you know, it's not about trying to convert those people necessarily. It's just more like reflecting a thing of maybe there's someone, some kid living in Texas who just feels completely out of place because of what is going on around him that he doesn't subscribe to, you know? Maybe he's one of those people that they want to get rid of, you know? Like, maybe he's an immigrant or maybe, uh, you know, Maybe he, he likes boys instead of girls or something, you know? And it's like, we want to just lend our voices to, uh, to bolster the fact that, man, that craziness is not the majority opinion. And we need to, we need to go ahead and, and deal with the fact that this is a minority. We're letting this happen. We're letting them control the, the terms of the debate. We're letting them filibuster every law right out of existence. It must be quite a weight to have on you as a band, though, to have that, you've got that voice, but it's deciding when and how to, to right. use it. That's the thing, and, and we thought this was one time to do it, because this is obviously not a band that's known for proselytizing or any sort of political or uh, you know, commentary. I mean, it, there's some social commentary in the band's music probably since the beginning, and certainly even some commentary about, you know, uh, religious extremism and stuff. There, there's been other songs in the group's past, but we've never, the band has never chosen to comp, this band has never chosen to comment on those things to this degree, and and I do think it's a responsibility that, that you should take seriously because again, you have a platform, uh, and so yeah, there was there was discussion about what the potential blowback might be and all that kind of thing, but uh, we just thought again, if not now, when? You know, it's time. Let's just say it. And you know. well, I have to admire you, and thank you for being so brave to do that. Thank you very much. Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah. Cheers. Appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs>